Hey guys, my name is Jeff. I'm the lead instructor at Jigsaw Labs. So over this series of lessons, we'll be learning about pandas. And pandas is really good for gathering data from the web or from your computer and exploring, and then we'll see even plotting that data. So let's get started. So what I have is I just have a what's called a CSV file online, right? This is at a location on the internet. I just put it in my GitHub account. And it's called a CSV because it's a list of comma separated values. And what we can quickly do is grab this data. So I'm just copying the URL and I will just paste it here, even though it's already there. So once you have that URL, you can just wrap it in a string, oopsies, and we'll assign it to this variable URL. And now what we can do is use pandas to collect and pull down this data. So we'll import the pandas library. So you can see I'm importing pandas as PD. And this means that I'm really gonna reference that library as the variable PD. And then we can call this read CSV. So this is saying we're going to be reading in data in the format of comma separated values. And you can, if we take a look at this, you can see up top here, these are essentially the different column names so reported city and date of loss, uh, latitude and longitude. And then this is a row of data. And these values in the row are also separated by commas. So now if I want to read in that data, I can say pd.readcsv and read in that URL. When we read in that URL, this is it, it does a good job. But I'd say this is a little annoying, is the fact that we have this unnamed column. That's this column right here the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, that's this data right here. We can get rid of this. I don't want to get into too many details, but we can get rid of this by just saying the index column is going to be that first column here. So we'll talk about the index in this lesson, and hopefully this will then make a little bit more sense. So now I'm going to read in the data again, assign it to my data frame, and then just select the first few rows. All right. So what you can see is that pandas read in this data from my CSV file and that we are now working with a data frame. So let's just see that. If we put in type here, we can see that type is a pandas core data frame. All right, so what is a data frame? Well, a data frame, it looks like it's just a set of rows and values. It's a table, right? And it has our columns, and it also has our rows. And if you want to think about how this translates to Python, to me, you can think of this as really a list of dictionaries where each row is a separate dictionary. So let me show you what I mean. If you do df.todict records, this will convert my data frame to a list of dictionaries. And you can see that first row has reported city is Houston and data of loss is this. So these things are pretty closely related. Uh, and you can always convert your pandas down into Python if you'd rather work in Python. All right, so a data frame, we said it's this tabular data, where it's a table of data with columns and rows, and that it feels like a list of dictionaries. And in pandas, a data frame, it consists of what we say is called like a series where each series is a separate column of data, okay? So if I want to select a specific column, just to prove that to you, um, this is not a very interesting column because all the data is the same. Let's select latitude instead. All right, so this is a data type of series, right? And a series is just a column of data. And what is a series similar to in Python? Probably a list. And in fact, we can call the toList method and it will convert my series back down into a list. There's one other thing that a data frame is consists of. So one, we said it consists of these different series. And then the last thing that it consists of is an index. So if you want to see that, you can do df.index. And that is that index uh, of numbers that you see right here. Okay. So above, when we said the index column equals zero, what we're saying is read in this data, and this first column here, set these values 
as the index. Notice, by the way, that it's not just my data frame that has an index to it, it's also the series itself. So if you call dot index on a series, you can see the index there. So what is an index? An index is just how we can select a specific row. Pandas will give us the option to select rows or entries in a series or rows in a data frame by the index. So that's really it for a data frame. Data frame is tabular data. It is similar to a list of dictionaries in Python. A data frame consists of two other pandas data types, a series, which is like a column of data, and an index, which is how we can reference rows in our data.